Welcome back to my channel and for those that are new, welcome. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is my aloe vera juice mixture of just water and uh, cold aloe vera juice. So I'm just spraying that on my hair just to use as my leave-in conditioner for today's styler. And then just to help moisturize my hair, this aloe vera juice, if you see my last video, it is amazing and as you can see my hair is so shiny. Next I'm going to use my Mix Chic Styler. Now I use this as a styler and a leave-in conditioner as well. Um, I put too much, that's why I just dabbed with a towel. So I'm taking my Shea Moisture Extra, Transi Extra Moisture Transitioning Hair Milk. And this is my first time using it. I love this stuff. It did an amazing job on my hair and it helped to add to the shine. Now the only reason I wanted to try this out is because I saw it in Marshalls and I wanted to go ahead and get it. And also because I am outside for work and it is summertime and so the sun can be damaging to your hair. So I wanted to try something that was going to provide a lot of moisture to my hair and as you can see it did. My curls were super defined. I'm going to add a little bit more just to help hold the style. I was originally going to do this without gel but because of the humidity I went ahead and used gel for this as you'll see in the next clip. So yeah, I'm loving the results from this moisture milk. And no, I'm not transitioning. So this is just the gel because it's so humid and hot. I want my style to last. Applying my oil mixture just to seal all of that in. It's olive oil, castor oil, and argan oil, which are my three favorite oils. Show you what the transitioning milk does to the front part of my hair. Also, because we know the front part of my hair um, doesn't like to curl up a bit. It's not heat damage um, or anything like that. I've cut it multiple times and it grows back the same way. But I've already applied the mix chicks and the aloe vera juice to this section of hair. So I just wanted to show you the shine I have and the curl definition. So this is after I have applied all of the products to my hair. I'm just applying some more gel to both sections of my hair there. So because of the aloe vera juice is really wet and I usually use an actual leave-in conditioner, I just wanted to dry some of that a bit because it just felt like it was too much in my hair. But this is the result of all of the products in my hair. My hair is fully saturated with all of the products right here. And I am loving the results. Okay, so my hair is 100%. left my hair super shiny so I'm gonna go ahead and do a full 360 so the only annoying thing about using the aloe vera as a leave-in is that because it's a liquid it takes your hair a little bit longer to dry but I do think that it's Um, and I think it's because my hair was soaking wet when I did do it. I did use my blow dryer to stretch it just a little bit. Um, I do like the results. It's super shiny and very defined. I'm not sure how long it'll last since I already have some pieces that are um, not crazy, but not wanting to cooperate. But my curls are clumped, so that's also the reason why I don't think it'll last very long. But I am pleased with the results. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is second day hair. This is after um, a long day of being outside and being with kids at work. So uh, super sweaty. Um, I have a little bit of shrinkage because I was spraying my hair at night with the aloe vera juice mixture and I probably sprayed too much so my hair reverted back and shrunk a little but that's okay. And this is fourth day hair. This is also after work. My edges are all sweated out as you can see. Um, so yeah, my hair is shrunken also here because at night I was spraying, again, like I said, the aloe vera juice mixture. But I love the results. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Say she didn't want to keep it. Look at God. Guess that'll be our little secret.